Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Recently, a picture of Pramhos went viral on his social media platform. The picture was originally shared by Andaman and Nicobar Command on 9th of March. As most of you might be aware that Andaman and Nicobar Command is the first and only tri-services theater command of Indian Armed Forces and a brainchild of late CDS General Vipin Rawat. As we have reported earlier, INS Chennai, a Kolkata class destroyer, has test fired an extended range Brahmos on 5th of March, which was the fourth test of Brahmos this year. Many of our viewers have queries about the range of extended range Brahmos or Brahmos ER. Officially, the range of Brahmos ER has not yet been disclosed, but it's expected to be somewhere between 600 to 800 kilometers based on our observation of area warnings issued last year on Brahmos ER test and the earlier test conducted for it. The picture shared by ANC command was part of ANC deployment of Western fleet culminated with successful test firing of Brahmos missile from INS Chennai with pinpoint accuracy demonstrating lethal capability yet again. If you look closely in the picture, you can see a red flag designated as a target for the Brahmos missile. The peak was taken fraction of seconds before the missile hit the target. What is so cool about this picture is that it proves the pinpoint accuracy claim of Brahmos missile. As we all know that Brahmos has circular error probability of 1 meter. Circular error probability or CEP in military terminology measures the accuracy of weapon. This term is highly misunderstood. CEP of 1 meter does not mean that the Brahmos missile will always fall under the 1 meter radius of the designated target. If one claim that missile has a CEP of n meters, it means 50% of missiles hit the land within n meters of the target, 43.7% between n and 2 n meters of the target, and 6.1% between 2 n and 3 n meters of the target, and the portion of shots that land farther than 3 times of the circular error probability from the target is only 0.2%. Hope this could have given you some clarity on CEP. Now, for a missile traveling at supersonic speed from hundreds of kilometers, this accuracy is remarkable and that is why we call Brahmos hitting target with pinpoint accuracy. Also, let's not go by the literal meaning of pinpoint accuracy as it is highly impossible to achieve CEP in less than millimeters at least for coming few decades. We have recently witnessed the havoc caused by Russian caliber cruise missile which has accuracy of 3 meter which is much less than that of Brahmos. Brahmos as we all are aware is a supersonic cruise missile capable of being launched from multiple platforms based on land, sea, subsea and air against sea and land targets. It is the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world that can fly at supersonic speed nearly three times the speed of sound that is around 3.2 Mach. The missile's cruising altitude could be up to 15 kilometers and the lowest it can fly is 10 meters above the surface. The important point to notice is the speed of Mach 3.1 low flying altitude of 10 meter. These two features make Brahmos very deadly as it will be nearly impossible for enemy radars to detect this missile and by the time it will get detected, the enemy will have no time to launch countermeasure system. The terrain hugging capability, supersonic speed and pinpoint accuracy further makes Brahmos a formidable weapon. Another important feature of Brahmos is the steep dive capability that enables it to hit targets hidden behind a mountain range. The Cobra or S maneuvers of Brahmos at terminal stage makes it highly immune to air defense system. The ex-CEO of Brahmos has also said that the best air defense system can protect against 1.2 or 1.3 Brahmos missile which means there is no escaping from 2 Brahmos missile fired and it will take at least a decade to build an effective defense system that can deter Brahmos. This is the reason why it is also called Widow Maker by NATO. Brahmos is integrated with most of the frontline warships of Indian Navy and now we know that Navy is rolling out extended range Brahmos to Vishakhapatnam and Kolkata class destroyers which is going to increase the anti-ship capabilities of these vessels by many folds. 
This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We'll be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.